In this video I'll explain how to set up single sign-on in Site Setup. In this way we can avoid the logon screen and go straight into the application. First of all I'll show what currently happens when I log into the application. I'll just use a Query as an example. Upon selecting Query I'll be shown the logon screen and I'll need to put in my credentials to log into the application. What we'd like to do here is change this so that my current account details are picked up and I can go straight into the application. To do this I need to go into Site Setup and put in my administration details as only administrators can create and modify users in the system. So I log into Site Setup and open up the Users folder. You can see here that we have basically two types of users. Users that are based on uh, Windows and independent users. What I'm going to do is create a new user based on my Windows account. So I'll select New User and I'll use the Lookup button to bring up a list of user accounts. You can see up the top here I can actually choose the domain in which I want to select the users from. Currently I'm on a machine called XP Test and just for this exercise I'll map to my local user. So I'll select my current user from the list and you can see now it's boarded into the system. Let's save this and now go back to our original test which was query. You'll notice this time that the logon screen didn't appear and you can see here on the screen that it's showing us our current user account is test. If for whatever reason you want to override the single sign-on, this can be done by holding down the shift key when launching the application. You can see that it's now brought up the logon screen and I can choose whatever account I wish to log in as. If the account happens to be a, a Windows account, you can type in the domain name and the username and your Microsoft Windows account password. And you can see now that I've logged in as a different account. It is also possible to base users on their Windows group. I'll just create a user this time based on a Windows group. So I'll go back into Site Setup and just as before I'll log in with Administration Rights and go to the Users folder and create a new user. This time I'm going to select from a domain server called Sharper Light and instead of selecting a user from the users list I'll go into groups and select a user from a particular group. The behavior here is that when single sign-on is activated a specific account for the user is searched for first and if that cannot be found then a search through the groups that the user belongs to is done and if a group is found that is the account that is activated. It is recommended that with single sign-on that a domain server be set up and that all users belong to that domain but for demonstration purposes or for a single user setup it's possible to use the accounts on a local machine as well. With regard to reporting services, single sign-on 
is currently not supported in version 2.1 and database accounts need to be used.